All right, YouTubers, um, as promised, I had mentioned that I sold off my Del Vostro 3470 and got a hold of a uh, Dell 3670. I think this is the Inspiron. Um, <clears throat> amazingly, though uh, that one was uh, refurbed, um, I got an i5 8400 version with 12 gigs of RAM for only $30 more. So, uh, tell me I didn't get a good deal. Even if this one is referred to. But, unlike the last one, this one at least came in a belt box. The box is a little scary looking. And, uh, I don't know if I'm expecting this thing to be in the best shape. But, uh, I do have some plans uh, for this here computer. And uh, fortunately this time we're not able to do the dual camera thing like I usually like to do. Because the memory card is full and I don't have time to transfer it over. Alright, so, um, mouse. Actually it looks like a brand new mouse. Nice. Not sure it's a Dell mouse though. Yeah, doesn't have the Dell logo on it. Power plug. And this is a Dell box. These are actually a Dell keyboard in it. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, this doesn't say Dell on it. So one of the computers I just sent back, because uh, it was smoking, was a Acer. Uh, very similar to this one. But the keyboard was super um, narrow, and this is at least nice and wide. Um, I think I've got the 120 degree angle on here, so you can see the whole thing. So this is actually uh, going to be a nice keyboard. And since that is actually was a genuine Dell product, let me see if the mouse actually is. Yep. There's a little symbol on the back of it. So, you know, basically your $3 mouse. Um, and let me get this out of here. I'm not sure what this thing is. Safety stuff. All right. So, this is a little a lot bigger than the 3470 was. That's for sure. Hopefully we can get it out of here without destroying it. Uh, this actually looks like it's in good shape. Hopefully there's no problems with it. It's kind of frustrating, folks, when you, get, when you buy a computer and it's got problems. All right, so we will uh, take a look at this. box all right so um without turning it on just yet i'll do another video where i'll go over the operations of this thing but uh see at the bottom you've got your core i5 8 gen intel sticker uh two usb 3.1s this doesn't have the uh the gen 2 i think it's called where this would be a red instead of blue card reader power button dinky power button that's going to be hard to find uh, as well as a button to open the uh, CD-ROM. So I have this Lazy Susan thing here, which is pretty nice. And let's uh, take a look at the back of it first. I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, so we have microphone, headphone, that deal. I always forget what the blue one's for. HDMI, VGA. Uh, shoot, this one only has four USBs in the back. There's your Ethernet. Uh, it should be Wi-Fi. It does look like we can get a different decent video card in here, unlike the um, 3470, which totally sucked from that aspect. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. You know, sometimes these guys do stuff to these computers so they can tell that you were in them. But 
So it looks like uh, hopefully ATX power supply. All right, taking the other side off. And uh, is that even mounted? Well, that's a weird, weird way to put a hard drive in. I'm, I guess this comes up from the underside. Let's check that out real quick. Okay, hard drive has two bolts securing it from the bottom. Um, talk about a very simplistic uh, computer. Let me bring the light over, folks, so, you can, so we can point things out in here. So the one I have um, looks like it has. Let's see if we can move this so you can see it. We've got a four gig and an eight gig stick of RAM in here. Uh, obviously underneath the CPU fan is the um, processor and that is a this is somewhat different than the 3470 um, more of a box around the thing they did have something like this in 3470 and let's see what else we can get into so this this would appear to be ATX power um they do not go with the uh the standard power deal so i have to find uh, some adapters if i wanted to put a better power supply in here it doesn't have the uh the motherboard power supply that i'm used to um other than that what else do we have to point out to um <clears throat> two additional SATAs there is no, um, I do not see any additional power cables, though if you have an existing um, PCI, excuse me, a um, SATA, SATA power cable like we do down here, oops, I can uh, at least split that off once. So I'll probably be able to put a second hard drive in here, but where would I actually put the hard drive? So this is actually um, a little surprising, a little disappointing. Uh, the good thing is, look how big of a video card you could get in this, if it had decent, uh, if it had decent power on it and a way to connect it. So I think in the, this probably will be limited by like a, uh, say a 1050Ti or a um, either a 1050Ti. Or an RX 460, maybe a 560 if it doesn't have a power supply. But uh, yeah, that's about all I want to talk about. Uh, this thing should be halfway decent. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.